On Giving Tuesday, Kits for Kids held their annual kit building event with the Marlboro Chamber of Commerce and Marlboro Hospital to provide for children in need. Co-founder Heather Johnston explained the organization's mission and what inspired her to create it. The overall mission of the organization is to give comfort to children that are in transition, foster care, medical facilities, or just in need. Kids for Kids started in 2006 when I rented an apartment to a woman with two young children. At that time, I, my mother lived up on the third floor and I would go and check on my mom. One day I arrived at the three family to see that the two kids were home alone and the mother was not there. When I went inside the apartment, I noticed that the woman had no furniture, no hygiene, and I rented the apartment to her. And I was really um, shocked that people have too much pride to ask for help. And it really hit me hard. So, I mean, she paid her rent every month, but had nothing to feed her children, nothing to sleep on. And this was going on right underneath my roof. And it just changed the way that I looked at life and how, how to do things. So that year I made three kits and now it's been 17 years later and I've given out over 20,000 of them. Kits for Kids other co-founder Jay Johnston lists some of the different items that will be included in this year's kits. So every kit has a stuffed animal uh, for comfort. Most of our kits also have hand knitted items, hygiene items, um, sensory items like fidget spinners or little pop bubbles, um, a Hot Wheels toy, pretty much anything to, to bring a, a smile to a child's face. In his first year attending as president and CEO of the Marlboro Chamber of Commerce, Steve Massinio expressed his pleasure with the evening's turnout. The turnout's been great. Uh, couldn't ask for better. It's so good to see so many people involved in our community, not only the, uh, the members of the Marlboro Regional Chamber of Commerce, but community members, members in general. We have the mayor-elect, Christian Dumas, here. Uh, we have a, a bunch of other representatives from other nonprofits and community associations. So it's really good to see the turnout and, and helping uh, Kids for Kids and, and you know supporting those kids in need this time of year. Since its inception in 2006, Kids for Kids has grown leaps and bounds. However, Heather believes there's still room for growth going forward. Oh, I, I see that there's so much growth because so many people want to help and I listen to what people have to say and I process it and then I bring it full circle so they can actually be a part of it. So um, this year we are doing 300 kits but next year we are planning on doing a lot more. We're starting our event um, planning earlier and we're helping out more organizations. This year we're working with the Marlboro Hospital um, and also Community Covered. The hope is for this event to be even more successful next year. Both Steve and Jay, let us know how you can help out the cause. You know, I, I just say spread the word. That's really what networking in the chamber is about, is when you participate in an event like this and see the, the, the great things it does for the community, you know, remember just to share it with others. You know, spread the word, let them know about what fun the event was, the great food, the great atmosphere, the great networking, but also the great cause. The best way to get in touch with us is to either call us or to Fill out the contact form on kitsforkids.org. Uh, there's a contact form on there. You can fill that out. It goes directly to me. You can also email me. I'm jay at kitsforkids.org. Uh, and and I, I, I love conversing with people over email. <laughs> it was a night of networking and charitable efforts that will surely leave a smile on the face of a child in need. At Apex Entertainment, I'm Matt Passaccio for WMCT-TV.